with Adam and Jay. I'm Adam. And I'm Jay. Today we're going to react, review, riff, and at the end we're going to rate the brand new trailer for Jojo Rabbit. We're looking forward to this. This is the teaser. Yeah, the teaser was a really good teaser. Wait, that was only a teaser? That was only a teaser. It was huh. like 90 seconds of even that. Of just like, oh, is that Hitler? It is Hitler at the end. Now, and now here's the whole trailer of what's actually happening with the Hitler youths. And then, oh boy. <laughs> the Hitler being an imaginary friend. Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> His master Jojo, you're a top man. Prepare to leave the house. The day you boys will be involved in such activities as war games, <laughs> ambush techniques, and blowing stuff up. I don't think I can do this. Was? Of course you can. Abadam comes to. When I was your age, I had an imaginary friend. It got me in so much trouble. <laughs> Kids, it's time to burn some books! You're growing up too fast. Ten-year-olds shouldn't be celebrating war and talking politics. Hey, Hitler, I wish more of our young boys had your blind fanaticism. <laughs> Did you know Jews can read each other's minds? But how would you know if you saw one? They could look just like us. Hi. You know what I am? Say it. A Jew. Gesundheit. Sheesh, that was intense. What am I going to do? No idea. Got it! I have negotiated. Burn down the house and blame Winston Churchill. Or negotiate. If I tell on you, you'll be in big trouble. They'll never win. Love is the strongest thing in the world. Your mother took me in. She's kind. She treats me like a person. You two seem to be getting on well. She doesn't seem like a bad person. I'm the enemy. You're not a Nazi, Jojo. You're a ten-year-old kid who likes dressing up in a funny uniform and wants to be part of a club. Oh God, nothing makes sense anymore. Yeah, I know, it's definitely not a good time to be a Nazi. I'm calling it right now. Call it, Jay! I think this is gonna be the best movie of the year. It's refreshing to see a new because Taika is, like, Wilder People was amazing. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was a little too weird by half. Mm -hmm. I thought it was fun, but, like, other people were like, I didn't understand any of that. I'm like, I get, I get that. Uh, mm -hmm. But, yeah, it's just nice to see, like, a fresh perspective. Because it has, this to me feels like, uh, this feels like Wes Anderson okay. mm -hmm. meets, like, a... It's like Wes Anderson with like a touch of Tarantino in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like a little bit. Mm -hmm. But it just has like an extra force of like being actually funny. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Wes Anderson is, he's very humorous, but it's more witty. Yeah. It's more clever. Yeah. Whereas this seems like they're, dude, those kids carrying the rocket launcher and blowing up a store, that's just funny. Like that's just good. Like... <laughs> That little, uh, I, man, that ki little kid walked in and they put those little glasses on him to read for that role and they're like, you know what, you don't even need to talk. Like, you already got the part. Like, you're just, you're just so cute. I just want to eat your little cheeks. I just want to <laughs> eat them. Just the biggest little cheeks. I, I honestly, I am blown away by the story. Because the teaser is like, oh, this young kid's having a hard time being a Nazi youth, and like he's just gonna be awkward and weird around all these other kids, and you know they see the one kid throw the knife, but he gets stuck in his leg. I'm like, ah, oh, that's silly. You know, just kind of. I thought it was just gonna be like a, a young boy dealing with other boys, and that still is the movie. But like, oh, but also, there's a young Jewish girl hiding in this house, 
from the Nazis, and he has to learn that, like, just because someone's different doesn't mean they're evil yeah. or bad or out to kill you. And it's like, oh, that's such an important lesson. Oh my god, this movie's got... Oh, wow. As someone who was once previous a young man growing up, the line, you're not a Nazi, you just tend and you like wearing a uniform and you want to be part of a club. I was like, yeah, I think every boy goes through that. As another boy who was at one point a 10 year old. Just like, that crisis of like going into middle school and being like, what's my thing? Yeah. Do I have a thing? What do I like? I need a thing. I need, I need a, a thing need in order... to be order, a part of a group. I need to like... I need to fit somewhere. I can't handle this childhood alone. Yeah. I, I remember, need people. I remember trying to get my mom to buy me a paintball gun because a lot of the boys went paintballing. Mm -hmm. uh, and she was like, why do you want to? She was like, do you really want to go paintballing? And I was like, no, but like, I need a thing to be. And then my mom was just like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I'm not. It's three hundred dollars. You're not getting that. Yeah, paintball equipment back then it was. Really but maybe expensive. there's like a larger issue. We need to like maybe we'll sign you up for some activities. Mm -hmm. So how about band or theater? Yeah, <laughs> it's a little, uh, a little, little less. I just expensive. wish I could go back and live through middle school and high school, like like just being as self aware as I am now. Just being like, hey, this isn't that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. This is actually like a really fun time in your life. Just sit back and enjoy it mm -hmm. instead of like really worrying about stuff all the time because I really didn't have actually anything to worry about. Yeah. And now I'm like, now I'm in my 30s and I'm like, oh, there's. Well, you got some stuff to worry about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. This movie, yeah, I think you're right. This could be the. I think this might be the movie. That you're I don't want to say sleeper hit. But I don't think this is, I mean, this is not getting the attention of, like, all the, like, the Irishman or the laundromat. Or this the will blow spy, up. Like, but, like, all these other, you know, big, by, from bigger directors and bigger uh, companies or whatever. And all it's kind of, you know, like, oh, Oscar buzz immediately. But, like, no, nah, man. This is going to word of mouth in this a one's gonna, I think this one has got the message and the humor and especially the, the message for the times that we're all living in. That is, I think, the, the crux of what's going to really springboard this movie oh, totally. to be... Just a masterpiece of a movie. Wow, this is gonna I really yeah. This is a must see. Jay, how would you rate the trailer for Jojo Rabbit? This one is getting What? What are saying wow? Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to step on you. Silently step on your toes. Yeah. How would you rate this trailer with me not saying anything? Or mouthing anything to the camera? Don't distract me. I'm trying not to, I'm sorry. This one see now there's a lot of pressure for me to do a good one, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna nail it. Mm -hmm. This one is getting, this one is getting one out of one irresponsible weapons uh, management. Who's giving two kids a tiny little rocket launcher? A tiny. Because here's the thing. Here's oh. how here's how armies work. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Please, Jay, tell us I'm how armies work. If you have rocket launchers and you need to transport it to one place to one place. There was a guy like in the bunker being like, okay, we need to transport this one rocket launcher. And they're like, we'll take it. And he's like, okay, I just need you to sign here. Like, look two kids in the eyes and was like, you got this. You're fine. Like, oh, yeah. Bad idea. Is maybe that how the Allies won? <laughs> they were giving all the kids the, uh, the weapons to transport around the cities and they're accidentally blowing up everything of themselves? So you're saying the Allies won by killing a whole bunch of kids? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying that the kids accidentally killed a whole bunch of people helping oh. the, accidentally helping the Allies. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. I thought that got really dark really Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, no. cool. That's way we're, we're going. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. The Nazis were handing out uh, missile launchers to a bunch of kids to try to get, get them to the front lines. The kids couldn't quite make it. They kept blowing up. Oh man, bikers. you're trying to fit a rocket launcher on the on the, the front of the front of handles of your bikes? <laughs> it don't fit. It don't fit. It just tips the whole bike damn, over. Cling cling. <laughs> how did you guys write this trailer? Let us know in the comments below or hop on our Discord channel. Where lots of fun, cool people are talking about lots of fun, cool stuff. We'd love to have you join that conversation. Ah, the link is down below in our description box. So while you're down there, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Do that YouTube that you do so well. Guacamole's extra, you imaginary xenophobic dictators, you.
Maybe imaginary Hitler learns a lesson in this movie too. I doubt it. I doubt probably it. not, but maybe. I don't need a redemption story for imaginary Hitler. <laughs> no, that's not what I need. Don't need uh, that. Other videos are popping up soon. Please watch those. We would appreciate it as much as we appreciate you watching this one. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.